filed with complaint against my child, my daughter, Hermia. Stand forth, Demetrius. Oh. Hey. <laughs> my noble lord, this man hath my consent to marry her. Stand forth, Lysander. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and my gracious duke, this man hath bewitched the bosom of my child. I beg the ancient privilege of Athens, as she is mine, that I may dispose of her, which shall be either unto this gentleman or her death, according to our law. So will I live, so grow, so die, my lord. My soul consents not to give sovereignty. Relent, sweet Hermia. <laughs> And Lysander, you <laughs> yield thy crazy title to my certain right. You have her father's love, Demetrius. Let me have Hermias. Do you marry him? Demetrius, all about you to his head, made love to Neder's daughter, Helena. I must confess I have heard as much, but Demetrius, come and come, Aegeus. You shall go with me. I have some private schooling for you both. How now, my love? Why is your cheek grown so pale? How chafed the roses there do fade so fast? Belike for want of rain, which I could well beteem them from the tempest of mine eyes. I mean, for aught that I could ever read could ever tell by tale or history, the course of true love never did run smooth. Well, then let us teach our trial patience, for it is a customary cross. A good persuasion. Therefore, hear me, Hermia. I have a widow aunt. From Athens is her house remote seven leagues, and to that place the sharp Athenian law cannot pursue us. If thou lovest me then, tomorrow night, steal forth thy father's house, and there in the wood, a league without the town, will I stay for thee. My good Lysander, I swear to thee, by Cupid's strongest bow, and the place that thou hast appointed me, tomorrow truly will I meet with thee. Keep promise, love. Look, here comes Helena. <laughs> How you look and with what art you sway the motion of Demetrius' heart. I frown upon him, yet he loves me still. Oh, that your frowns would teach my smile such skill. <laughs> I give him curses, yet he gives me love. Oh, that my prayers with such affection move. <laughs> the more I paint, the more he follows me. The more I love, the more he hateth me. <laughs> <laughs> His folly, Helena, is no fault of None but your beauty. <laughs> Take comfort, Helena, for he no more shall see my face. Lysander and myself will fly this place. Oh, farewell, sweet playfellow, and pray thou for us. And good luck grant thee thy Demetrius. How happy some or other some can be. Through Athens, I am gone as fair as she, but what of that? Demetrius thinks not so. He will not know what all but he do know. I will go tell him of fair Hermia's flight. Then will he to the wood tomorrow night pursue her. And for this intelligence, if I have thanks, it is a dear expense. But hearing me and I to enrich my pain, to have a sight thither, Back again. Mary, our play is the most lamentable comedy, the most cruel death of Eurus and Thisbe. Answer as I call you, Nick Bottom, the Weaver. Ready. You, Nick Bottom. Name what part I am told. You, Nick Bottom. And you, Nick Bottom. Let's are... see. <laughs> you, Nick Bottom, are. <laughs> down from Pyramus. <laughs> 
A lover, most gallant, that kills himself for love. That will ask some tears in the true performing of it. Loot, you must take this be on you. What is this be? A wandering knight? Nay, ah, it is the woman that Paramus must love. Faith, let me not play a woman. I have a beard. <laughs> Coming. Uh, snub the joint. You, the lion in part. Oh, and here I hope the play is fitting. Are you the lion's part written? If it be, I pray you give it me, for I am slow of study. <laughs> you may do it extempore, for it is nothing but roaring. <laughs> Masters, here oh. are you. <laughs> Once we sat upon a promontory and heard a mermaid sing on a dolphin's back. I remember. That very time I saw, but thou couldst not. Cupid, all armed. A certain aim he took and loosed his love shaft smartly from his bow. Yet marked I where the bolt of Cupid fell. It fell upon a little western flower, before white, now purple with love's wound. Fetch me that flower. The herb I showed thee once, the juice of it, on sleeping eyelids laid, will make or man or woman madly dope upon the next live creature that it sees. <laughs> I'll put a girdle around about the earth in morning. Having once this flower, I'll watch Titania when she is asleep, drop the liquor of it in her eyes. The next thing she then waking looks upon, she shall pursue it with the soul of love. But who comes here? I am invisible and will overhear their comments. I 
love thee not, therefore pursue me not. <laughs> Upon thine eyes I grow. 
<laughs> Nature shows art that through thy bosom lets me see thy heart. <coughs> Where is Demetrius? Oh, how fit a word is that vile name to perish on my sword. Do not say so, Lysander, say not so. What, he loved your Hermia, Lord, but though yet Hermia still loves you, then be content. Content? With Hermia? No. <laughs> I do repent the tedious minutes I with her have spent. Wherefore was I to this king mockery born? Fare oh, me well. Of course, I must confess, I thought you lord of more true gentleness. Ah! <clears throat> Lysander. But hast thou 
father who yet latched the Athenian's eyes with the love juice as I bid thee do? I took him while sleeping, that is finished too. Stand close, this is the same Athenian. Now I perceive, 
They have, fat, they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. I, I know not what you mean by this. I do persever, counterfeit sad looks. <laughs> Make mouths upon me when I turn my back. Wink each at other. Whoa. Ha 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 ha. Hold this week just up, but fare ye well. Tis partly my own fault, which death or absence soon shall remedy. Stay, my love, my life, my soul, fair Helena. Well, I, I say I love thee more than he can do. If thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Quick, come.
Satan now mocks me. Satan is constrained to me to measure out my length upon this cold bed. By day's approach, look to be visited.
But as I think, for truly what I speak, now I do repeat myself, is I came hither with Hermia. Our intent was to be gone from Athens, where we might, without the peril of the sharp Athenian law, The object and the pleasure of mine eye is only Helena. To her was I betrothed, ere I saw Hermia, but like in sickness did loathe this food, but like in health come to my natural taste, and do wish it, love it, long for it, forevermore be true to it. Fair mothers, you are fortunately met, for of this discourse, we more will hear anon. Aegeus, I shall overbear your will. For in this temple, by and by with us, these couples shall eternally resist. Oh, <laughs> away with us to Athens, free and free. Behold the feast and great solemnity. Thank 
come not to offend, but with goodwill. So you should think, if we are. The actors are at hand, and by their show you shall know all that you are like to know. In this same interlude, it doth be ball that I, one snout by name, present a ball. A wall. <laughs> She said palm? A wall. A wall. Oh, wall. Oh, sweet and lovely wall. Show me thy chip to blink through with mine eye. <laughs> Thanks, courteous wall. No shield be well for this. But what see I? No misery do I see, O oh, wicked wall, through whom I see no bliss. Shing! <laughs> Cursed be thy stones for thus deceiving me. The wall he thinks be courteous should curse again. <laughs> no, even, sir, he should not. Deceiving me is this beast's cue. She is to enter, and I am to spy her through the... You shall see it. She'll fall pat as I tell you. God, here she comes. Now am I dead? Now am I flesh? 
that my soul is in the sky. Tum, lose thy light. Moon, take flight. Now, die. <laughs> die. <laughs> die. Thank you. 